Hello Reader Pops, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for this video because my husband, who just got his wisdom teeth taken out three days ago, is going to choose my TBR for this month, meaning he's going to choose the books that I need to read. This book is like farting, sorry about that. It was not me. I swear. So I have a big stack of books that I know I can't get through and then I'm gonna set it in front of him and he'll get to choose like maybe five or six books. That's like on average how much I've been reading and maybe he'll ask me what they're about. Maybe he'll just choose based off the cover. I have no idea how he's gonna go about choosing these, but before I invite him in, I'm going to spritz myself a little bit of perfume because the sponsor of today's video is Scentbird, which is crazy because I was sponsored by them when I was like 15 and it's crazy to see how far they've come with their packaging, but I still think they're the most genius service. So if you don't know what they are, they're a fragrance subscription service for about $17 a month where you get this travel size amount of perfume, which should last for about 30 days, which is a long time to try out a perfume before you wanna commit to buying the full size thing because those are expensive. It comes in these super convenient packages where you can throw it in your purse and it won't leak everywhere because you can lock it and they have over 600 designer brands to choose from. So I've always wanted to try Prada Candy. So I got it and I'm obsessed with it. The featured notes on this one are caramel and musk and vanilla and it's so good. And if you can't tell the theme, I love vanilla. So I got La Vanilla's Pure Vanilla Scent and this has notes of Madagascar Vanilla and Tonka Bean. And then I got Aqua de Parma's Magnolia Infinite. It's really embarrassing to pronounce these. And this has notes of bergamot and jasmine, trying to branch out a little bit. They're very generous and gave me a 55% off code. So if you click that in the link below, you can get your first month for about $8, which is insane. And he's walking in right now, which is perfect. What's up, guys? <laughs> I wonder if they can see how swollen you are on camera. It's actually gone down a lot. Yeah. I'll send you some photos that are really funny. Okay. <laughs> What's up, booktube? <laughs> This is my husband, Ryan. He has never been on camera before, guys. Give this video a thumbs up for him being brave enough to do this with me. Hey He's guys. super camera shy. Here is the stack of books. It's not that many, but I've only been, okay, it's still a lot. I've I was been, gonna say. <laughs> I've been reading on average like five books a month. Mm -hmm. So I want you to look through these and then choose five that you want me to read in June. Okay, okay perfect. Did I damage them? No, it's fine. Wait, so you're actually gonna read the ones that I pick? Yeah. I'm gonna determine your whole month. Yeah, so you should okay. like think this through. Okay, well, How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories. It's a pretty small book, so it's yeah. kind of tempting, you know, maybe gives you time to have other activities. Once a lot of time, there's a boy, the wicked tongue. Ooh, it's kind of <laughs> scary. Oh, is this Hunger Games? Yeah, this is the prequel. Come on. Haley, that's a no-brainer. You're not going to pick that. I had a feeling you might. Just look how cool the cover is. It's, Wait, yeah. is that a prequel? Mm-hmm. Well, I wonder if Katniss is born yet. I'm kind of confused about, I think it's a lot of President Snow's point of view. Whoa, 18-year-old Snow. That's cool. Guys, this is a five-star read. What? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say that. I love when she's like... I love when people like tap the book. Yeah, and like, I love when people hold books and like, yeah, you okay guys, it. so, and they just make them look so cozy. They're like, <laughs> it kind of is like ASMR when it's like. Okay, Stephen King, The Institute. <sighs> In the middle of the night, intruder, Stephen King, you murder. In the middle of the night, intruders silently murder young. Okay, well, mm -hmm. that sounds heavy. The cover is really cool. It reminds me of the Polar Express. Oh, true. Except there's silent murders. It never focused. We do the middle. There it is. Okay, well, I'm gonna make a list. I'm gonna make, how many do I pick, five? Yeah, about five or six if you really want. I'll do five. I find this generally unintriguing. Unintriguing? Yeah. Why? Uh, I don't know. Just lacks a little bit of uh, context, I would say. Okay. Illustration. What, can you guess the genre? <sighs> I would guess a top-notch debut novel. <laughs> Dang, debut? Dystopian. Does it say that? Are you moving on? Why are you moving on from this You want to read that? <laughs> no, well, okay, what if I told you it was like Hunger Games in Outer Space? <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> that's what I've been told. <laughs> no way. Okay, well, that's intriguing. I'm gonna put that in the Dang. intriguing list. Okay. Twin crowns. <laughs> so they're twins. They're sharing a crown. I'm assuming they're probably, you know, next in line for the throne or something. Yes, exactly. One throne. What could go wrong? I actually really like that. Okay. A house of salt and sorrows. Eh. Mermaids. Mermaids. In a manor. Oh, cursed. Twelve sisters are cursed. That's scary. Yeah, that's what I thought I too. don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't imagine reading scary books. Yeah. I actually, I used to read Goosebumps. Oh, dang. That was scary. scary. And I used to read a series of unfortunate events when I, I was little. I did too. That wasn't scary at all though. I was scared of Count Opal. Aww. He was scary to me. But also he's like, kind of like Thanos where he has, it's kind of an endearing side. 
cut, cut, cut. <laughs> Wait, is that like a popular opinion? No, it's not, but that's my opinion. Oh. His Thanos has good intentions, but he's just misled. Wow, that's very empathetic. He wants the quality of life of the universe to improve. <laughs> right. But clearly, his way of going about it is not good. Right. He's a pretty bad dad. <laughs> yeah. To kill a kingdom, I would say that the qual- the uh, I actually got a discount on this book for this oh, reason. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah. I would say that if you were to resell this book, you wouldn't be able to get the full value. Well, fantasy fans will like the idea of sirens and pirate-like princess. Do you know what a siren is? Yeah, it's like a, uh, it's like a mythological creature. What kind? With wings. It's a mermaid. Yeah, I thought, thought it knew. You know, this seems like it'd be like Lightning Thief. Oh. Seems okay. Dang, this is a heavy book, Haley. I know. Uh, Daughter of No Worlds. Is this the longest book? No, I think it's just formatted weird. Oh, okay. What do you think of that cover? It was a little sus. <laughs> so, sus cover? Yeah, sus cover, I would say. Yeah, I agree. I mean, cool art. I don't I don't enjoy this, this image. <laughs> that image. I love fantasy romance, okay. but this image is- Ooh, Olive Olivy Blake, huh? Yeah. Yeah, guys, so Olivy Blake is actually- <laughs> What? I've heard you say it. You like the name Olivy. I do. Yeah. I love her. You love her. That's actually a fake name. It's not her real name. That's right. Uh, Olivy Blake's actually lethally smart and is a mind-blowing talent. <laughs> He's just reading reviews. No, I'm not. Off the back. Oh, you can't even see the book. <laughs> lethally smart, hey? I I mean, I gotta, I gotta put this on the good pile. Yes. Okay, wait. One, two, three, four. Guys. No way. I've got a selection here. <laughs> I can't wait to see you read these books Wait, now. this is it? Yeah, wait. Oh, I wanna, let's go. I want to announce it. I want you to tell me what you think of it. Oh, dang. Guys, these are Haley's five books for the month of June. The TBR is in my hands as we speak. Do I get to pick the order? No. Okay, well... What <laughs> you would, don't give me that much power. What would you choose? I would pick... Wow. All right, guys. So the first book... For Haley's TBR, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. The second book of Haley's TBR, <laughs> The Institute by Stephen King. There's no way I'm following this. The third book of Haley's TBR, One for My Enemy, Olive Blake. Love Olive Blake. Mm -hmm. Fourth book for Haley's TBR, Twin Crowns. That's gonna be a dramatic storyline. Very excited to see how that unfolds. And you know, it just comes down to like who's gonna. Who's gonna have the throne? Um, the last book of Haley's TBR is one that she seemed to be excited to read. And since I love her, I put it in her TBR. Thank you. So, Red Rising, Space, Hunger Games. <laughs> okay, so what do you think about this? Okay, so I love this. The only thing I didn't want, I didn't want you to choose the Stephen King book because it's massive. And it's scary. It's just a little scary. I mean, I don't think the story will be scary, but it's just intimidating. It's gonna be hard to get through. Right, but also his writing is so good, it usually ends up not being hard, but I really wanted you to choose To Kill a Kingdom, because mm. it's mermaids and it's kind of like summer vibes, but fantasy. <sighs> Dang, Haley, sorry. Maybe if you get through all of these and you can read that exactly. one. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I can just take this one. I mean, maybe I'll get into the mood of reading this one, but do you know what a, a mood reader is? You read based on your mood? Yeah. What? <laughs> is that what you are? Yeah, so like literally by the hour, I could be in the mood for a book and then completely be like, actually, I want to buy a whole different set of books and read those. Got it, okay. But I'm really in the mood for all of these right now. Really? So I'm excited. Are they all similar genres? I mean, not really, actually. They're, this is pretty diverse. It's Dystopian, like, thriller, fantasy. 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 Sci-fi. Sci-fi. Yeah, crazy. And what is this? Fantasy? Yeah. Well, I'm super grateful that you allowed me to choose your TBR. <laughs> Do you think you'll be like more invested in my thoughts on the books by Absolutely. the Absolutely. I would say the one I'm most excited to hear about, <laughs> it's kind of funny, but Twin Crowns. Really? And The Institute. Aww. I like that you're interested now. It's like a fun game. Yeah. Okay, well, maybe I should make a main channel video reading all these books. Yeah. It'd be like a full month long video. Dang, true. But then, can I, can I guess which one will be a five star read? Yeah. I'm gonna guess. Twin crowns. <laughs> <laughs> Just that one? Yeah. <laughs> what? Twin crowns. I think if I read these, I'll have a great one. Really? I think Red Rising will be five stars. Yeah. Olive Blake has got to be up there. Mm -hmm. Stephen King is always high. I guess Twin Crowns and The Ballad of Songs and Songs, what the freak is that title? Hunger Games book are kind of a gamble, 
Yeah. But they could be insane. Yeah. What Exciting. a month. What a month, guys. What a month. Go ahead and subscribe down below. Guys, I can almost smile fully again. <laughs> Go ahead and comment if you guys think he should start his own channel. I know it's like nerve wracking for him, but. Ryan books. I read <laughs> one book in the past two years. What was it? Atomic Habits. No way. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he read half of Harry Potter. <laughs> oh yeah, I did I did start reading it again. I, re I admire all of you guys. <laughs> I really do. Y'all's dopamine receptors are under control. Mm -hmm. I respect it. It's true. I really do. Or they're out of control because we buy the most books. We have to read more to get that well, dopamine again. it's like again. matcha. Well, yes, it's, like, it's a slow release. It's a slow release of dopamine. Yeah. Whereas matcha is a slow release of caffeine. Uh-huh. And if you were to have an espresso shot, it right. would be a very fast... Right. Release of caffeine. Mm -hmm. And I love coffee. I'm very excited for you. Thank you. I love that she reads. Aw, that's so nice. She's so cute. Oh, my, okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you. See you somewhere else on the internet. Uh. <laughs> I'm not putting that in. <laughs>